Hi, I'm Eric and welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, we are going to make a dinosaur game. Oh, one that is similar to the Chrome's dinosaur game. In today's video, we are going to make a jumping game. Try to follow along and at the end of this video, try to make your own unique take of the game. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is to delete the cat that's on the screen. Next, we're gonna come here and add a new sprite. We're gonna select the dino sprite. Just type in dino and uh, I'm gonna choose this one here, dino4 as my main character. And I think the dino is a bit too big. Um, let's set it to, to be about 80%. I think it's a bit, I think it's just nice. All right, great. And let's add, let's add a backdrop to it. Okay, let's see which backdrop shall we put in. Hmm. All right, let's choose the blue sky. Great. All right, so now we have a dinosaur. And uh, let's add in the last part that we need for the game, which is a tree. Type in tree on the top left. And we're going to choose, let's choose tree number one. Okay. Wow, this tree is a bit too big. I think we're going to set it to be about, I don't know, 40%. I think that's good enough. All right, looks good. All right, let's put the tree roughly here at the bottom right, but not touching any of the edges, not touching the right or the bottom edge. Okay. All right. Let's start with the coding for dinosaur. We will start by um, introducing gravity to the dinosaur, and we can do that by using the change, change y by change y by ten. If I click change y by ten. The dinosaur is actually going upwards. All right, so we're gonna put a negative number. Let's just put a minus ten for now, okay? And if we click on it, you can see it dropping down. All right, so now we need to put a loop to do it. So we're gonna use uh, repeat until. All right, we put that in, and we're gonna put a forever around that, and we're gonna start it with a when green flag is clicked. Okay, so if I click on this, you can see the dinosaur is dropping all the way down. If I just pull him up and then if we click on it there's gravity applied to him and he's dropping all the way down to the bottom okay I'm going to add in another thing to repeat until we're going to add uh, go to sensing and we're going to add touching edge okay so what this will do is it will the dinosaur will keep dropping until he touches the bottom edge of the screen let me show you how it works okay so I pull him up he will drop down to the ground Great. I think it's a bit too fast. Let's change this change y by negative six. Let's try that. Okay. All right. That looks better. The gravity. Dinosaur is falling to the ground. Excellent. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do is to make the dinosaur jump. We're gonna start with uh, when space is pressed. Okay. When space is pressed, we're gonna use the change y again. All right, so let's put a change Y, change Y. Okay, so if I press space now, you can see him, sorry, if I press space now, you can see him jumping, but he falls Im immediately, he falls down to the ground, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna do a repeat loop. So we're gonna jump multiple times be before he falls down with, gra with gravity. Let's start with a repeat function. Let's just put repeat 10 and try that. Okay, looks better, but, um. It's too low, can't get over the tree. Let's just change this to 20 and see how it goes. All right, much better, much better. I think we may need to repeat a few more times because the tree looks a bit too big. Maybe you can reduce the size of the tree. Let's just put it to 30%. All right, let's just try that out. Smaller tree, great, okay. Let's go back to dinosaur. All right, so this is sort of working. All right. Please note that if I click jump twice, the dinosaur can keep going up past the top edge. Okay, so we need to add one more code to ensure that the dinosaur can only jump if he's touching the ground. Do you know what code we can add to it? That's right, we will add a if, if touching edge, if touching edge, then the dinosaur is allowed to jump. All right, let's try this. Okay, great. Let me just put the gravity on and let's type. Let's press the space bar. Is it working? Can we jump more than once? Can we double jump? Nope, we can't double jump. Can we can jump a single time, and that's exactly what we need. Next, we're going to code the moving tree. How would we do that? 
very similar to the first part of our coding today we will use the repeat until touching edge okay we start the tree at the bottom right of the screen we're going to ensure that the tree is not touching the right or bottom edge so we're going to place him here at the bottom right but not touching any edges and same as before we're going to use a repeat until touching here we have repeat until touching edge and this edge that we're going to touch is the left edge this tree would go to the end and then after touches the left edge it will reappear on the right edge okay so we're going to use the go to button go to all right when the game starts it's going to start at the right side go to and we're going to use the change x okay what y x because we wanted to go horizontal okay and we need to go left minus 10 to go left all right and then let me just check that this is working we're just going to put a green flag here let's check it's working all right it's working it's pretty fast gonna slow it down a little bit let's just see maybe we should put minus minus five minus six all right let's try that okay, great it's going through but it's not repeating itself so what should we put what block should we add to this code to ensure that it repeats itself great you are right gonna use the forever loop okay let's try this okay it doesn't seem right i'm going to make the thing go a bit faster let's try negative seven minus seven okay let's try this again okay faster great it looks like the dinosaurs are boring the tree okay great in the last part of the code today we are going to code the part where when the tree touches the dinosaur the game will be over all right very simple coding maybe you can try to code it yourself even before i show you the answer all right give it a go okay now i'm going to show you how to do the coding for the tree we are going to start with a green flag as usual we're going to use the wait until block wait until touching touching what yes you are right touching the dinosaur okay and then if you touch a dinosaur what are we going to do we're going to use the stop all block all right very simple okay let's start the game touches the dinosaur the game stops excellent next we're going to start again start jumping great great this is good it's working well all right so now let's think of what you can do next i want you guys to make this game your game i want you to customize the game all right i give you some suggestion why don't you make the dinosaur animating as if it's running okay you can go to the costume and there's already four costumes there what code do you need to add into the dinosaur sprite to ensure the dinosaur is moving the next thing you can try to do is to add a score every time the tree passes a dinosaur and touching the left edge i want you to create a variable and add one point or one score to the game this way every time you manage to jump over a tree you get one point maybe you can try coding the score section by yourself last of all why don't you do a game over screen when the game stops i want you to have a different backdrop that says game over so that we know the game is over and you can start the game by having a by pressing the button to start again when you're done i want you to share your game in the comments below so all of us can see what you have made of your jumping game today thank you very much kids for all you've done i'll see you in the next video bye oops kids don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i'll make videos like this every week I hope you enjoyed today's video and give me a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys. Bye.